Okay, open Eclipse and see how are we going to. See, this is actually the magic of the constructor. See, here we are not there. Uh, till now, what happened actually, I used to, I used to create the uh, methods whenever I want to print something, but here uh, you don't need to do that. Okay, I actually increased the font for you all because I thought uh, so this is going to be the constructor demo. So Java 13 version and uh, module is create the module. Now in constructor demo, I'm going to um, create a package. We don't need actually, but better. Okay, by default constructor demo, something like that. And now class. In this all Japan, you know, constructor, constructor demo. There might be few people who don't know how to, you know. So I'm going to make a, a public uh, method. I don't need to, but I'm just trying to do that. So here, so where do we need to come? We have to come here. This is constructor. So the class name as well as the constructor name should be identical. Constructor, constructor, I just uh, copy this. Constructor demo, and what did I say? Parenthesis, and then block. System, if you need just an I do, okay. System out, print uh, ln, or print whatever it is. This is a constructor. This is a constructor. This statement statement is printed by the constructor. Okay. Now what I do, I create a method. Okay, method is going to be void. Static. Then we can say static void. Uh, Print. I'll just uh, and here system out print ln print ln and here this statement this statement is coming from is printed by said by class method. Now come here and here uh, constructed demo, we have to, we have to initialize uh, for constructed demo, we have to initialize because uh, there is a, uh, let's see, constructor, I copy this. Mm. So done, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, it's showing me the error because we have to initialize. Create a method constructor. Yeah, it is telling us, you know, you create a method constructor. Constructor is equal to new constructor. Then now it uh, it becomes CTR. I think we don't need to uh, because uh, because here that, that is actually so. Here, let, let me stop here. And uh, you know, I'll just uh, you see this statement is I, I have not uh, created. I'm not you now for time being. Uh, let us uh, forget about this method. I commented it out. See, you see, this is actually a class, and now this is not a method. Please be cautious. That is what I would like to tell you. This is not a method. This is no ox constructor. This is called no ox constructor. So the moment you initialize a constructor, it simply does whatever is being defined there. Whatever we want to want it to be done, that uh, you know, this constructor behaves like a method, but it's not a method. You know, a constructor behaves like a method, but it's not. A, that is what I would like to. Now, what happens? I just want to, you know, uncomment. I uh, uncomment this, and here, if I come cd on dot print. Okay. Now let's see what's going to happen. This statement is printed by the constructor. This statement is printed by the method. This is a method. This is a constructor. Allah. This is suppose if I, um, you know, let, let me create a string. 
uh, STR. What is STR? You know, I'll. Uh, so okay, I, I'll I'll stop here. This is that is what is called here. I explained uh, the example belongs to the bike, and here I try to explain this with the help of uh, you know maybe uh, these are them. So this is what is called no aux uh, no argument constructor or no aux constructor no aux constructor. Okay, now let's go to so this is actually the schema. So class by so whenever you create a class and compile it, and it is going to create a default, you know, constructor. So this is how a constructor is being uh, created. So bike parenthesis. So actually, you don't need to write this. Programmers don't need to write this. It automatically will be created by the so example of the default default constructor. Student three. Okay, here there are some parameters, but not in the the class student three. Uh, this class has got the ID as well as name, and then display ID name, and here, here. Uh, so since you don't have any, yeah. So these values are coming from uh, a default constructor. Actually, if uh, you see here in demo, what happens? Uh, we are not initializing any values to these uh, keywords. Actually, there must be an error. There must be if if the constructor concept is not there in Java, then this code must return error. This will not go ahead. Compiler will uh, you know uh, give you an error. But in Java, because of constructor, as because uh, every class is uh, uh, will be will be associated with the default constructor, it is possible for us to print these values. Otherwise, there will be an error. So this constructor saves. The programmers time. Otherwise, what happens? We need to can see every time what happens. I need to make this constructor. If I don't make this constructor, this is for example, if uh, uh, just because I I don't have the constructor associated with a class, and uh, and uh, and uh, if I have to do this, and and every time I need to create this constructor. Whenever I I create a class, I need to define a constructor, which is not the, uh, not possible actually. It is not possible. So when when it is uh, so, what happens? The creators of creators of the Java language, they did this intel intelligent activity. So uh, the programmer need not uh, define a default constructor every time we create a class. We can just leave as like that, and then the compiler is going to take care of it. This is a classical example. So we don't have any values, uh, you know, assigned to these variables. But it, it, it is possible for the compiler to run this program without an error. That is because of the default constructor. Now coming to the parameterized constructor. Here, what happens actually? We can also define a constructor. You know, if you don't define a constructor, that will be default. In case, you know, sometimes what happens actually? The class also can accept some parameters, not the methods. It's not a method. The starting at uh, the the level of creating the instance. Whenever we create the instance here, here the instance creates just the mother. Sometimes what happens actually? There are mandatory and compulsory mandatory or compulsory requirements for certain classes. For certain classes, there will be. We don't need to define them in the suppose you know the example. I think I, we have the example here. No, we don't have the example. See, imagine like you know the person. Now every employee is a person, right? So every employee is going to have the name and age, and also you know family kind of. Uh, so it is not that the employee is going to have the name and age. It is the person who is going to have the name and age. So in constructor, so it is possible for us to define the name and the age of the individual during the time of constructing. I mean planning the class, not at the time of us. I mean creating the employee. Employee has nothing to do with the name and age, but the ID has something. No, we need to you know take care of the ID during the time of. Uh, so here, what happens? I just go to the constructor demo and create one more class. I call it as um, person. Okay, and then uh, this person uh, is not going to have the main method. So let me, and then I create one more uh, you know class, and this person is going to be the employee. I don't know. I already have the employee. I think, but it's not a matter at all. So in this employee, I'm going to have the main function. Now what happens? I'll go to the person. So here, what happens? I just I can create person, person, 
there, there are many ways actually i can also take care of them with the help of fields fields go there but you know when i think like you know this person uh, strictly is going to have the name and uh, age there is no requirement to handle that through the fields person okay here i can just uh, call int not the int actually string name and then uh, uh, int age so obviously age will be, age can be there is nothing actually um that's it and then system out i can uh, yeah system out print ln and then uh, i can just write uh, a person is created a person is created now what happens i can just go back to the employee and here i can come here and then um, i can create uh, you know the salary okay salary i i just uh, write it as int right now salary and this is going to be a value okay and i can create a method called uh, void uh set salary so i'm using the set method and then um, maybe like uh, int salary i call it a salary and then i can come here this salary is equal to salary and now if i go here and uh, and let me you know this should be extend person this is mandatory okay, because we want to take care of the employee add constructor string in the uh, okay so oh, it is very uh, super okay hmm so employee it is asking you like you know you have created uh, think uh, there is uh, yeah okay that uh, has been gone yeah this is actually i didn't discuss with you the super there is a keyword called super um since in person we had defined uh, two parameters name and age so whenever we uh, inherit the person inherit uh, you know we, whenever we we create an uh, uh, another i mean this employee is actually inherits from the person and the person has two attributes they are attributes means fields name and age and this super is a keyword which i didn't discuss with you this is how we have to assign so whenever we are creating an employee we also have to create a, so let's see now the sal there is salary and this salary is just going to be now here uh, person p is equal to new person okay and here you see there is a you know there is a it, it is telling me that you know you you need to do something here and now the name is going to be i want to let me call it as mk and then uh, there is also age i call i mean i put my age here and then um so it just going to return uh, and then employee e is equal to new employee and i think here we need to go for so it, otherwise it will let you know um if i don't do this open the other it can in the same person response let's see so uh, add the argument match okay so change the constructor uh, string and uh, it's not string and create a constructor employee so i don't want to create uh, okay now let's let me uh, ms and let's see what's going to happen i i think uh, i don't uh, So now actually in uh, you put in the same day e set salary why it is not coming e dot set salary is it set salary it should come automatically I don't know okay set salary and here it is going to be some number. Why was why it is not coming? Create method set salary in uh, in Thai person. No, I don't want to add cast. Hmm. It is only for employee. Why do okay anyway? 
So it is asking me the cap string. Then in which case, okay, so that is because of this one, employee. So there are a lot of, you know, the more you learn and the more you get, see now it is. So I need to define that as an employee, not as a person. If I define that as a person, then it is telling me that, uh, you know, casting is required. Okay, anyway, so that's fine. Now what happens, I want to print uh, system out print uh, ln now e dot salary but i want to see that i said salary you know but uh, i don't have a get method here i only have a set method now let's see so i'll stop here and a person is created a person is created and then why there are two things here why two times a person is created for this statement and now a person is created for this statement employee because employee inherits from the person and uh, whatever the name and other things are being uh, created, that is going to set up with permanent uh, and I'll do one thing. P dot name, so print uh, system. Let's check system dot out print ln P dot name, and then uh, why it is showing me. Name only the name in the person. Create field. Oh, field is not there. Yeah, personal field there. So, cover it is telling me, but whereas the field is there here. I put a name in Charente. I have to. So, our information by the color is crawl. Are you correct? Pet call in a person. So, here the uh, person is created. Uh, print f jc then uh, i'll just uh, create the percentile uh, into the the name of the the okay i'll just i don't take care of grammar here uh, for time being percentile yes name comma uh, age and the percentile um, what is the D, I think, integer? Integer, I think D, it is D. Now what happens? I should come and tell name and age. Okay. So Ipudu, now it is going to, this is going to be the string and this is going to be the integer. So this discussion we already had in one of the classes. I explained in one of the I. So this is actually the problem with the programming. So I thought of doing something and it is just going on. It's just going on and on. So that, that's how programming is. So you need to have the brain. To, so now here the P is created. Now let, let's say it's not going to print. It, that, that I'm expecting something else to be printed uh, during the time of this statement. Uh, the, when the controller, I mean, when the compiler encounters the executor the statement. And then here, uh, a different information is expected. So here I'm expecting MK45 and here I'm expecting MS43. So that is what is my expectation. Okay, that is why I got these changes in this uh, class. So let's see. So if Jason Abuda, so sometimes we encounter uh, phase. A person is created named MK age. A person is created named ML age. Yes, correct. So I put in and there. And then uh, there is a uh, net salary. Uh, print LN is salary. Is why this is not going down? Anyway, that's okay. So this is 43 and this is one lakh and but actually it should come down. But it is just going on. Head salary and uh, it is printing here itself. Ellen gada what is the mechanic across the Why this is coming here? Open this. Only okay. Let let me one more time. Yeah, it's going on. Okay, system out when um, I don't need to do this, but uh, I don't know why. Yeah, you okay, know it's coming. Okay, here go to the uh, system. System out when LM. Okay. Now I think it will come in meaningful way. A person is created, the name of the person is MK and age is 45. A person is created. So here you see, 
I created a person by using the constructor. This is uh, printing the information from the person constructor. The person constructor is just one matter. Okay. And then uh, this is coming from the, uh, this, I mean, this statement is coming from the constructor, which belongs to employee, not uh, the person, which belongs to employee. Okay. So this is how the, and then I have, I just wanted to distinguish, uh, I wanted to show you what is the difference between a constructor and a method. This is a method. So how did we set, uh, I created a method set salary and the, through that the method I am you know, trying to set the value. And this is how we can print. So I hope all of you understood what I'm trying to talk here, what the, my point is. Okay. So this is how the constructors are created. Now coming back to the discussion, Okay, so you see here, student, uh, this is student four is a constructor, has two fields. And uh, oh, so this is how it's, uh, this is a bit, uh, you know, better way. I think you can understand. So there are two fields here, one is ID and the other one is name. And these field values for these fields were set up through the constructor. So this is actually a constructor, it's not the method. The method is the constructor. So here, the values of these uh, fields were set up, were being set up, I mean, uh, were set up using a constructor, defining the constructor. If you, if we don't define this constructor, so uh, till now what happened actually, we used to create the methods. We always created methods to update the values for these fields. But it is also possible to, uh, you know, take care of the values with the help of constructor. That is what is the whole, uh, you know, point in the discussion. Now there is a method here display, and that is actually a system ID and name. And then you see here, this, uh, these are actually initialization. I mean, we are initializing two different objects. S1 is student four with these values, and S2 is student four and with these values. So earlier what happened, we never uh, you know, tried uh, this type of uh, approach. We always uh, tried this with the help of methods. So I like it because object-oriented programming, you can, uh, appreciate the different uh, aspects of object-oriented programming uh, through methods, not through the constructor. Okay, S1 display will print this information, S2 display will print this information, so that is. And there is something called constructor overloading. Actually, we have not discussed overloading. This is one of the, um, one of the as aspects which belongs to polymorphism in object-oriented programming that comes ahead. Uh, whenever it is also possible for us to use the same uh, name for two different constructors. So that is what is called overloading. Okay. So that is what is called overloading. So why this is coming here? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Now this is trying to going into my, going into my text file. Okay. So, so here uh, class is student five. There are uh, you know ID, name, and age. And uh, see, there is one constructor, second constructor. The first constructor is going to set up the values for ID and name, and the second constructor is going to set up the values for three ID, name, and as well as age. And now there is a display. In display, we are calling all the three. In main method, when the object is created as one with the help of two. It is possible for us to confine to two or three. It's all up to you. Because there are two different constructors. We need to define. Sorry, put an any rocket, define just an and two two instance are in the audio. No, it's not possible. So this is one constructor. This is entirely different, uh, you know, constructor. The student five is entirely different from this student. This is what is called overloading. Overloading means you can just, uh, Java allows to use same name for two different constructors, just like, you know, we have method overloading. Same name, uh, two different methods can be defined with the same name, but, uh, you know, there must be some change uh, either in terms of uh, number of parameters or nature of parameters. So here number, the so nature is same, I is I, N is N, but, you know, number is different. Here there are only two parameters, here there are three parameters. This is called overloading. So the advanced things we'll try to discuss in, uh, you know, later, like uh, in, uh, so how this is going to use, uh, I mean, how a data analyst is going to use uh, 
this uh, constructor is like you know say for example if i am defining uh, um i wanted to write uh, you know univariate analysis you know uh, let me an analysis univariate uni analysis okay now what happens see it is it is the we all know that you know univariate analysis deals with one single variable right so we don't need to um so uh, so whenever we create a class uh, whenever we are going to instantiate a class it is a damn requirement that we need to uh, provide uh, at least one variable not at least one variable exactly one variable that is what is the univariate analysis i'm not going to um so in, so here i'll go to the source and create a package and that is also same uh, with the same name and here i create a class that is going to be uni anal anali okay analysis okay and this is going to have um uh okay main it's not main method actually okay anyway i define so here what happens i can so knowingly that you know this univariate analysis uh, at least one thing will not at least one a variable a variable is a damn requirement for this univariate analysis so here i can just come and define that you know i can uh, now every time whenever i want to do the calculations i don't i don't need to so this is going to be array that is going to be the integer 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 and this is going to be maybe where i can uh, i can define like that and here i can do whatever i want to do system out print ln okay i don't know how many of you are really following me but the, the um, this is a constructor for univariate analysis variate analysis so that's it so that is enough and now whenever you come here and uh, you know you need analysis u is equal to new uni analysis and that is going to be you know integer value and it is going to be an array you see you need analysis and then um, i have to define an array here hey we have been boss are think my brain is good are okay so here is what happening is um, it is not accepting in the constructor i want to give the current question is okay 1 2 3 4 it is the integer right yeah new okay so it is not accepting i don't know maybe like uh, i want to give this um so i like something so i'll uh, try to so like this maybe it's uh, i want to create uh, maybe i don't know uh in here in i is a quantum let me 1 2 3 4 5 and then come here you know why this is not accepting uh, i change constructor uni analysis integer okay int that's okay fine so that we can do no problem yeah now it is uh i put it as a mante is instead of just uh, f ko pe kadam ikra uchi um ikra variable pe kadam variable ke vastade percentile uh percentile d vastade ra tere na ko it is integer but uh, i okay so so far so good i don't think yeah there is a kind of exception like var analysis at d raw level that's okay fine okay so so that i will try to uh, solve the in next class it should come
but the problem is uh, we need to go for the it's a different uh, it's okay so i'll confine here okay now okay this is a constraint for the unit analysis uh, i don't know how many of you understood uh, this is actually i i created a class for the universe analysis and uh, i'm sure that it is going to accept one uh, you know array that is a variable data variable the array is going to be the data. so that array is this one int open brackets in square this is how arrays are defined in uh, java and okay uh, unit analysis this is a constructor and which is going to accept the one array and here I created the array domain method, and that array was assigned while initializing the. This is initialization, this is instance. So, while creating the instance of this class, univariate analysis. Now, everything is okay, but the only thing is I want to print this uh, you know, array, uh, which is not happening. That I will say that now the time is 2.52. Uh, I will stop my class here. And